All right, in this video, we're going to cover uh, using the recapture and also with the threshold displaying uh, matches type thing, the little process here. So let's go ahead and capture an area. So I'm going to hit F1. Let's do this CA. There we go. And display matches. So what, look at this. This is to me really interesting. So it didn't pick up this CA here, but you'll notice down here where it says Kathy, once it's done highlighting it, um, <clears throat> that it did pick up that one and this is where it's like hey that that's kind of weird right do i need to recapture it yeah you might you know maybe well there shouldn't be any problem here we could try to zoom in let's see if oops let's see if that makes any difference nope still didn't do it but this is where you might want to adjust this a little um make sure it says going there we go dropping it down a bit suddenly now it's matching right and this is one of those things it's the tool is not <laughs> totally automatic um and uh, and this is where you might want to just need to practice. So in this one, we would want if we were doing that one, we would want the first one, and we can we want to move the mouse to it and test it. So there it goes. But it's that process that I think you really got to practice with is uh, using F5. Let's say again, I want to check the area again. Uh, maybe I want to get maybe I, I want to get a little bigger, so I don't bring in that second one just so it's it's a little easier, right? So display matches again. Didn't find it. Interesting, right? This is. Really interesting to me. We're going to drop it down, display matches, and there we go. Now we found it. So um, each time you do that, this image, what's in here, gets, uh, that's what gets exported um, when we look at it in studio. So over to the right here, that's what gets converted to, to this, these bits. Oops, that's what it's looking for. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a little hard for me to highlight that. But that's what it's looking for. And I think if we were to, let's let's do this. Let's trunk do that. Let's truncate this down. Now I don't know. Maybe he's uh maybe he says if it's blank, don't do anything. Um display matcher is great. And now let's uh export it again. Now let's put this down beneath it. Let's see if that shrank that at all or if it's uh, about the same. Obviously it changed. Oh, it did. So it tightened it up. Not that this matters, right? The speed, you might want that extra padding and stuff, but just so you get the idea, that's what's changing. That's the image. <clears throat> I think it's base 64 encoded. I'm not 100% certain on that, but that's the encoding of it. And that's why you don't have to save a file, the actual image file, is it's encoding it into this. Um, and then the function breaks out and looks for those pixels, each pixel, whether it's on or off, basically. So again, the F5 is really great when you're working on something and it, uh, you thought it would work great, it didn't, and then just adjust this color threshold. You usually drop it down a bit. I've I've done gone had to go both ways. Um, I rarely have I ever gone far. If you go too far, it'll get pretty crazy. In uh, like those, it just matched a hundred up here because it's basically it's probably looking for all dark or all white. So um, you don't want to stray too far off of it. All right, cheers.